response, considering that we are going to be felicitating the best in the news broadcast fraternity. And evenings like these are not possible without the support of our partners. But before I go ahead to acknowledge them, request you all to please put your phones on silent mode as a request to your fellow delegates, fellow participants, fellow winners. We do not want you to switch them off. We want you to talk about what you like, what you don't like, who you think are the winners going to be in your agenda booklet. You've got the shortlisted nominees there. You can have a look and you can tweet about who you think is the most deserving um, entry for a particular category. We have about 37 categories that we're going to be felicitating tonight. And we have more or less uh, the entire universe as far as national news broadcast channels in English and Hindi are concerned within this room. But like I said, evenings like these are not possible without the support of our partners. And I'd like to formally acknowledge them. Enba 2015 is powered by ETV News Network, Khabar Hi Jeevan Hai, Associate Partner, Sahara News Network, Co-Partner, Governance Now, Business Platform Partner, Business World, Knowledge Partner, Broadcast Audience Research Council India, Live Webcast Partner, 24 Frames Digital. Could we have the partner AV, please? Vast and diverse country like India can be better understood in news and happenings only in the ETV way. The only news network in the country with more than 10 channels and with 2,000 reporters spread out from the foothills of the Himalayas in Jammu and Kashmir to the backwaters of Kerala and from the far off corners of Northeast to Dalal Street in Mumbai. Covering every news, big or small, that matters to you. Speed and credibility have been our DNA. All this while keeping you at the center of every news story that's breaking in the country. We are the voice of people. We are ETV News Network. Khabar hi jeevan hai. All right, without much further ado, I'm going to request the editor in chief and publisher of the Exchange for Media Group, who has felicitated a platform like Enba to recognize the best in the news broadcast fraternity to be acknowledged and recognized to please come up on stage and offer uh, a, a formal welcome address backed with a loud round of applause please we've only gotten started the claps need to keep going uh, good evening it's my honor and privilege to welcome the leaders of the news broadcasting industry and in some way the conscious keepers of our nation to the eighth edition of the exchange for media news broadcast uh, when Exchange for Media started the first News Next conference to debate the future of the news industry and the first Exchange for Media News Broadcast Awards, lots of my friends from the civil society, from government, from bureaucracy, uh, from the enterprise ecosystem said, why are you doing awards for news broadcasting professionals? What good they do to do the country? They only carry negative news and they are rabble rousers. And of course, uh, we, didn't, we didn't agree with what they had to say. As I said, all of you in the room are the conscious keepers of the nation. You create, you create public opinion. You make sure that the citizens of this country get justice. And you make sure that the wheels of business are oiled with information. We are already running late, so I won't uh, bore you with a long speech. But I just want to say two things. One, the process of selecting the winners tonight is a jury-led process. We at Exchange for Media, none of my editorial colleagues have any point of view or input into that. We have a very credible jury, and you'll see the jury AV. We have a lot of jury members here, very eminent people. Uh, so the pro these awards are the most 
honest, most credible, and process-driven awards. I emphasize this, that every year when these awards happen, I lose five, seven friends, at least temporarily, because a lot of my editor, friends, journalists, friends, faces call me, and they abuse me. They're my friends, so I give them the right to abuse me. And I'm, I'm, I'm not making a point, it is a reality. But they know that we do it very honestly, and Suparna, my editorial colleague and consultant, really brings that high integrity and champions what we do. Second, uh, I want to say a couplet to Nurdu, to, to all of you. I believe with what you do in the news profession, and you do it under very difficult circumstances of being intimidated by business people, by politicians, by bureaucrats, by being left out, by not being given access. So I genuinely believe that all of you really do a great job in very difficult circumstances, especially when the outlay for news is going down, as I talked in my inaugural speech at the News Next. I, I want to dedicate a Urdu couplet to you. Manzil unhi ko milti hai, jinke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. Pank se kuch nahi hota, hauslon se udaan hoti hai. Nazaron ko badal do, to nazare badal jate hai. Soch ko badal do, to sitare badal jate hai. Kishtiya badalne se kuch nahi hota. Disha ko badal do, to kinare badal jate hai. I think you're providing a direction to the country and to the people of the country. You're moving them in a direction that is positive and builds the nation. With this, I welcome you to the 8th edition. I look forward to celebrating your achievements tonight. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. That's the first from Anurag that I've heard reading out an Urdu couplet. And to continue the, the, the moment and the mood, I would like to share another one of my, one of my fo most favorite. I know that's not correct English, but I still would say one of my most favorite couplet. It is, Is shahar mein jine ke andaz nirale hain. Is shahar mein jine ke andaz nirale hain. Hoto pe latife awaz mein chale hain. <laughs> All right, and a very warm welcome one more time to the News Broadcasting Awards, the eighth edition, like Anurag mentioned. And uh, we started off uh, about four to five months back where we um, got together uh, the most imminent uh, jury that has actually, with very high integrity, um, uh, chosen the winners tonight. And like, again, I would quote Anurag saying that um, this has been an extremely independent process, and this is exactly how it is. Uh, a lot of people get annoyed about not being felicitated and not being acknowledged, but Exchange for Media, Anurag, or me have nothing to do with it. This is extremely an independent and a judicious process that the jury follows. And for you to understand what this whole process is all about, I'd like you to join me in my Coke passenger seat because we've created a little AV to showcase exactly how these awards are put together. Could we have the AV, please? Welcome to the 8th edition of Exchange for Media News Broadcasting Awards. These awards were established in 2008 to acknowledge and reward both individuals and organizations for the best of work done that become a showcase property in the news broadcasting industry in India. Awards are being given away for work done between November 2014 and October 2015. The process for these awards began with inviting entries. Let's hear what one of the jury members had to say about this. Jury was really unique because you had people uh, from all uh, you know, aspects of journalism. You had a doyen of Indian journalism like Enram heading it. So certainly uh, you had uh, Leila Tayabji, you know, again, uh, who was very distinguished in her own right. Uh, you had some senior uh, journalist part of it. So we all felt that uh, as a team we really bonded and the, the fact that the ground rules that were set was that we will agree on a winner when there is complete unanimity. We even had calls with uh, some of the, uh, you know, uh, of the entry and some of the people who could not make it. Uh, then we had uh, some senior editors, the head of channels, 
presenting uh, their arguments, their cases before the jury, and jury really thoroughly quizzed them. So I think it was the most exhaustive process that we all had. I really enjoyed it. The entries received were from national and regional news channels broadcasting in either English or Hindi. The judging process involved two levels. First, the pre-jury round, in which every jury member went through a certain set of categories and shortlisted the top five entries based on the selection criteria. The second was the physical jury meet, where all the shortlisted entries were presented to all the jury members and winners were chosen after careful discussions. The Excellence Awards too invited careful deliberations and finally the best were chosen. The channel representatives were given an opportunity to meet the jury board one-on-one -on -one and impress upon them. A chance to present their case in their own words for five categories. Young Professional of the Year Editorial English and Hindi, the News Channel of the Year English and Hindi, and the Bark India Business News Channel of the Year English and Hindi. It was an opportunity for the young and rising talent of the industry to shine through and for the senior channel representatives to tell us why they are the best. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Presenting the jury of the 8th edition of the Exchange for Media News Broadcasting Awards. The jury for the awards was led by Mr. N. Ram, Chairman, Kasturi & Sons Limited, Publisher and former Editor-in-Chief, The Hindu and Group Newspapers. And it consisted of some of the biggest names in the country. People who are respected, trusted and have in-depth knowledge of news broadcasting. It's clear from the, this round of judging entries that plenty is happening on the Indian bro television news uh, broadcasting uh, scene. Of course, it's a very mixed picture. Some of us feel there's too much shouting, too much artificiality and contrivance, but there is also a lot of good coverage happening and I, I was very impressed. In fact, our jury members were very impressed. There were some remarkable cases of improvement Efforts made, plan, and improvements won. But there are also many areas where there seems to be complacency. Uh, and uh, it was very hard to, uh, to pick if you, if you asked a uh, case, who, who is the best overall, etc. It was very hard to do that. Certainly our jury was hard worked, uh, as I guess uh, juries in previous years were. But I would say, speaking for our jury, they put in a lot of effort and they came from where? Well, diverse backgrounds with rich, rich experience. We don't go just by ratings. That's an important indicator. Uh, by, and you, you watch that, how the audience engages, but also quality, professionalism, balance, all, all the things that go into good journalism, above all credibility, trust, and uh, relevance. Apart from being interesting and engaging the reader, you, all, you all, sometimes you have to sail against the current and do what is relevant and important and significant. And I think uh, to judge all this is, is uh, a challenging, but also great fun. Enba 2015 and the jury board congratulates all the winners. <laughs>